Sister, you're the Director of Ethics for the Pope Paul VI Institute, which is the home of NAPRO Technology. Could you talk about that? NAPRO Technology is a dynamic, universal science of women's health care that's been developed by Dr. Thomas W. Hilders and his colleagues at the Pope Paul VI Institute over some 30 years of clinical research. It involves, you might say, its hub is the Creighton Model Fertility Care System, which enables the woman to chart and to uh, maintain and monitor her gynecological health. I would say the cachet of NAPRO technology and its hub, the Fertility Care System, is that it cooperates with rather than suppresses the woman's natural procreative system. If the system isn't working well, it props it up and fixes it up so that it does work well. If it works well, then it maintains and monitors that healthy gynecologic system. I wrote an article entitled NAPRO Technology, Healthcare Women Really Need, and I'd just like to, uh, to bring up various points that I tried to make in that article just because I think it's of such interest. Um, it shows you, I think, the, uh, the importance and significance of what we do here as far as women's health care is concerned. There has been, since the 1960s, a mainstream movement in women's health care called the Women's Health Movement. What I did, just out of interest's sake, is to examine that movement I ferreted out all the good goals, the bad goals, and the indifferent goals, and then I tried to show how Creighton Model Fertility Care System and NAPRO technology, our science of women's health care, meets all the good goals, eclipses those good goals, goes even further, and then eschews all that is unhealthy in the bad goals of this women's health care. And just to give you some idea, I'd like to go through what the women's health movement considers good goals and what, what I consider very good goals and show you how expeditiously the Creighton Model Fertility Care System and NAPRA technology accomplishes and realizes those healthy goals. The first one, coming from the women's health movement, says that women's health care should be holistic and woman-friendly. I'm going to quote from a book called Women Healed, testimonies from about 50 of our uh, clients and patients at the Pope Paul VI Institute Clinic, just to prove how this, these various goals that I'm going to cite have been met by our system of health care. This patient had this to say, I had never before, before coming to the Pope Paul VI Institute Women's Clinic, receive such prompt, effective, women-centered medical care. Another goal of the women's health movement is that women's health care ought to be person-centered. In other words, they ought to recognize that this woman is a person. It sounds rather elemental, but nevertheless, it's amazing how many people do not feel like they are persons when they go through some mainstream OBGYN uh, medical centers. Here's what some of our patients had to say, one of them. I finally felt respected and knew that someone listened to me and wanted to get to the root of my problems. Finally, that is, after she came to us, after doing this odyssey through all sorts of healthcare systems, clinics, and physicians, another woman, after coming to the Institute, said, I finally found a doctor doctor was Dr. Thomas W. Hilgers, that looked at me as an individual, a doctor, who took into account the clues that my body seemed to be providing, and put the pieces together in an effort to facilitate health, not just pregnancy. Another goal from the women's health movement, health care for women should be patient-specific and freedom-enhancing. Okay, we do this in a phenomenal way. Listen to one patient, one patient's testimony. Before NPT, NAPRO technology treatment, I felt disconnected from my body, 
feeling nothing but misery, flat, dark, tired. Never in my wildest dreams did I think my depression was biological in origin. I was placed on four HCG injections every month that were given in conjunction with uh, this woman's chart, which helped my ovaries produce appropriate levels of estrogen and progesterone. My depression disappeared immediately, and I am happy to report has not returned. Further, the Women's Health Movement says women's health care ought to engender stewardship-focused empowerment. Listen to this comment from one of our patients. My message to all women, women, she says, is to be informed and to be empowered. NPT, NAPRO Technology, will continue to provide answers for all the reproductive issues that you may deal with in your lifetime. The charting is an excellent medical record and can be a valuable tool in the evaluation and treatment of a myriad of female disorders. The Women's Health Movement said, women's health care ought also be prevention oriented, not just dealing with diseases people had, but trying to prevent the disease from occurring in the first place. This is what one of our patients said about NAPRO technology and Creighton Model Fertility Care System. I know that the therapy I have received from Dr. Hilgers at the Pope Paul VI Institute has saved my life. And then, the Women's Health Movement says, well, you know, women's health care ought to be multidisciplinary and it ought to be based in research. I already alluded to the fact that we have conducted 30 years of clinical research and continue to do so. But here's the team that you will meet if you come to the Pope Paul VI Institute. OBGYN physicians trained in NAPRO technology, a physician assistant trained in NAPRO technology, NPT nurses, fertility care practitioners, a family and marriage psychologist, and moi, an ethicist. As a result, women who access NAPRO technology are diagnosed and treated and medically treated from a spiritual, moral, and psychological perspective. Furthermore, NAPRO technology eclipses the best objectives of the women's health care movement by being marriage friendly, something you couldn't say about the women's health movement necessarily, by being family friendly and by being culture friendly. Furthermore, NAPRA technology excludes all the unhealthy objectives of this women's health movement by eschewing contraception, sterilization, and backup abortion as ways to treat women and to attain gynecological health. My conclusion, NAPRA technology is a women should really want from health care because it provides women what they really need. The opportunity to pursue the basic good of health encompassing physical, spiritual, moral, and social well-being. NAPRO technology offers women what they really need and therefore deserve health care that is woman, family, and culture friendly. Thank you, sister.